Go look at these places. Go talk to these neighbors. If you see somebody walking by, be like, hey, you live here? Yeah, so I'm just thinking about moving over here. Like, you know, what is it like? They'll tell you. They'll, they'll expose. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be like, yeah, there's shooters up in here. so welcome or welcome back to my channel hmm. all right y'all so as y'all can see by the title today i'm going to be showing y'all basically an updated video or updated version on how to get an apartment because me i'm gonna get out of here all right y'all so me personally this place is not it at all this state is not it at all like it's very dangerous i got my apartment broken into like a couple of weeks ago so me, I gotta go. I cannot be here. The amount of money that I make, I can't be here because the people around me, they don't make that much money. So of course it's gonna be dangerous for me. So I have to go, you know? So because I'm gonna do this process all over again, I wanted to make another video of how I do things or what I suggest you guys to do if you guys are still looking for an apartment. My credit is still not that good, okay? Like, so let's, yeah, so my credit is still not that good. So if your credit's not good, y'all in the right video. And I'm gonna put y'all, I'm gonna put y'all on for real because I hate when I watch these other videos and they don't even put y'all on for real. They gonna try to click links and then pay for courses. Nah, none of that, none of that. So before I start, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and make sure y'all like my video or whatever, especially if it's informative and if there's stuff that you guys didn't know that you guys now know or are gonna know for this video. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so the first step, which is the step that I feel like everybody skips, like I mentioned in my previous video, is to get your money up, okay? Me personally, right now, I'm trying to move. I'm trying to get this, well, I'm trying to move to Texas, right? And I'm trying to get this beautiful apartment, okay? I'm trying to upgrade from what I have right now. And in order for me to do that, I need to get my money up. So me personally, I'm working two jobs right now. I'm not saying y'all have to go work two jobs, but at least have a job where I at least have money saved up. So y'all can do this big move. Because without money, I'm not going to lie, y'all really not going to get nowhere. Okay, so before I really get into like the real, real, real stuff, I want to let y'all know that my second step or my second tip would be to give yourself a time frame. Because this is going to help everything go smoothly, you know? Like, because you won't feel like you're rushing. I feel like me personally, when I moved over here, I didn't give myself a time frame. I was just trying to rush like i was just i gotta go i gotta go but if i would have i felt like if i would have gave myself a time frame i really wouldn't be here i would chose somewhere else um because when you rush you basically rush the whole process you really just want to move that's all you want to see that's all you want to be satisfied you in the place but then everything else around you is not it so then you have to redo the whole thing again which is going to cost you more money because i feel like if i would have just never chose this place then I wouldn't be spending twice as much as what I'm spending now. You know what I mean? So just give yourself a time frame. And also, it's going to help you plan where you want to go. And also, it's going to help you see who can help you move. That's another thing. Me, personally, I don't know a lot of people like that. So by me putting a time frame or me plotting when I want to move, it's going to give me time to actually contact the people that I do know and who are willing to help, of course so that they can help me with the moving process. All right, y'all, so step three would be to look at your credit, okay? I know people always talk about credit and they always enforce credit, and I feel like they enforce it for a reason, you know? Like, me, I don't wanna believe that credit is important and it's the best thing in the world and it's the best thing to have, but it's really necessary, you know what I mean? Like, it's highly necessary, and I'm now noticing that. Because this place where I'm at, they didn't check my credit. They just, well, they did check my credit, but they just checked to see if I had like an eviction or something like that. And because it was my first apartment, I didn't have an eviction. So they just accepted me here. And because they accepted me here, let's think about it, right? Let's think about it. They accepted me here. They didn't check my credit like that. So do you really think they check in other people's credit like that? So what neighborhood do I really live in? Hmm. What, what, where do I live at? What, where, where do I live at? So I feel like when it comes to credit, it's really important and you have to sit down and actually work on it. So if you want to get an apartment, it's not just, oh, I'm going to get up and get an apartment the next day unless your credit is like 100, 100. <laughs> unless your credit is like 800 um, or better with no negative marks or anything like that, right? 
and then of course if you have the money but if you don't have that and you want to live in a very luxury place or a very high place like a very high class place you have to work for that of course so if your credit is bad get up and fix your credit <laughs> and if your credit is not good i'm gonna make a whole nother video on how i took down a couple of things from my credit that were negative that is making it go up all right so step four step four in case y'all i forgot to tell y'all in the beginning but i'm looking at my ipad obviously so step four would be to do the depth the in-depth research right like the real real research and i'm not just talking about look at an apartment and be like oh yeah it's cute i'm gonna move in there no baby because that's what i did look at, look at me look at me so one thing that i would say is to make lists okay me i write everything down like i know we have tablets i know we have computers i know we have all of that but write everything down i made a whole list how many pages is these one two three i made four pages of information of apartments that i was really interested in so of course you're gonna do apartment shopping or whatever and you're gonna want to see the apartments and stuff look at the reviews okay look at the reviews talk to people like actually talk to people you know people who live in the state where you want to go to or the area where you want to go to and you know them ask them questions how is it like to live there what are the better places to live there and stuff like that because when i moved over here i didn't talk to anybody i only knew one person here and i didn't even ask him if this was an area and he was actually telling me to take my time to wait but i wasn't waiting and look what happened to me i now i'm spending more than what i should have been spending in the beginning i don't want that to happen to y'all so that's why i'm trying to put y'all on I'm trying to put y'all on y'all better listen so talk to people right talk to people ask some questions how is it living where you know the area if there's any crimes if you know what's was it like at night because maybe you want to walk around at night and you want to know what it's like to walk around at night um and just ask you know ask a bunch of questions and then also use social media i feel like people just use social media for entertainment but it could really be like for learning and stuff you know so me personally i like tiktok for my social media um platform to learn stuff and stuff like that just because it's like a bunch of people just informing you it could be tiktok instagram youtube whichever you you prefer i just prefer to use tiktok when you're doing the in-depth research make sure to read the reviews i don't care if you get dizzy reading i don't care if you get tired i don't care what you get but make sure to read the reviews because i'm telling you people really be telling like they be exposing these places and just by you not reading the reviews is bad like let's look at some of the reviews <laughs> from this complex that i didn't read in the beginning because i did not read none of these reviews i was like i told you i was rushing i did not want to be where i was at before so i just immediately came here i saw that they was not checking no credit they was only checking to see if i was evicted i was never evicted they accepted me i moved in here asap okay so let's see the reviews or whatever so look <laughs> this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about the reviews is a 2.6 round bed do y'all do y'all see that a 2.6 okay 2.6 they really be exposing and you best to believe they're gonna expose because one thing about it once i leave from here i'm exposed to you i'm just waiting to leave once i leave from here i'm exposed but anyways y'all get the point so make sure y'all read the reviews because they really be exposing and they don't be lying okay they don't be lying i feel like the reviews that you should go for or the apartments that you should go for is if the reviews are like um i would say like a four and up or 3.7 and up you know because i feel like of course not all the reviews is going to be 100 percent positive because it's different experiences for different people you know so and then the way that people resolve their problems of course because if you're yelling at the person who's going to fix your apartment or who has to fix your apartment of course they're going to take longer than if you were to be nice and be patient right so i feel like the reviews that you should go for the apartments that you should go for is with the reviews of 3.7 and up okay but also don't let that influence you also ask your questions don't let that stop you from asking questions and stuff like that because like i said it's a personal reason for why things happen to everybody all right y'all so this leads me to step number i think it's five if i'm not mistaken step number five call and ask questions okay so it's not just 
this is going to take a while. That's what I'm saying. Make sure you give yourself a time frame because it's going to take a while, especially if you have other stuff to work on, like credit. I know me, I have to work on credit and stuff like that. So before my lease is over, I need to work on a couple of things before I even step on or think about moving to a whole nother apartment, right? So call and ask questions. Ask questions like deposit fees. What is the deposit fees? What is the bedroom prices? Because I know me for my next apartment, I'm no longer trying to be in a studio. I want to actually be either in a one bedroom apartment or a two bedroom apartment. So you have to ask for the prices. Um, ask for the amenities, amenities that are included. One thing that I want included is the gym. Okay, hey baby. Let me tell you something. I live in the South now, okay? And one thing I noticed about the South, I'm from New York, in case y'all don't know, right? So one thing I noticed about the South, you need a car. You need a car. If you need a car, you need a job. You know why you need a job? Because I need to buy gas. Hmm. I'm not about to sit here and be driving to the gym. I don't got time for that. So I need y'all to include the gym. Feel me? That's what, that's what I'm trying to look for. And it also asks what is included. And then the last thing I will say is if you can, set up a tour. Please set up a tour. Please. Don't come over here applying for apartments, paying these application fees, all of this, and you don't even know what the apartment looks like. Please. That leads me to number five. Six. Hmm. Um, go look at the places and like I said, talk to the neighbors. Go look at the places. Go, go, go be special agent also. Okay? Go special super spy. What's it called? What's that movie called? That that show called? Something in the unexpected. Cause I'm a international super spy. Go, go, go to the places and go look for them, okay? Go look at them. Go to the places and go look at them, okay? Because, yeah, all right? And also, I will go twice, actually. I was thinking of going to the first time. Like, the first time I would go, I will go and look at the place or whatever. Because they always have this model. I don't like this model thing. I don't like the model thing. I want to see what my apartment, where am I living at? Because I'm not living in this model. Where am I living at? Please, show me that place. So, I can go see the model and then I'm going to go back and see where I'm actually living at. Because they can try to play you like that too. Just try to show you the model and stuff like that. Instead of showing you where you're going to live at. And then when you go to see what you're going to live at. There's mold. There's animals. There's stuff like that. There's a whole dead body. Like, like yeah. We're not, we not trying to get into that. So go look at these places. Go talk to these neighbors. If you see somebody walking by. Be like hey you live here? Yeah so I'm just thinking about moving over here. Like you know. What is it like? They'll tell you. They'll, they'll expose. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be like yeah the shooters up in here. Okay, so the next thing I think is number seven um, is don't rush. That goes back to the time frame. Don't rush. Because me, personally, I'm telling y'all, like I said in the beginning, I was rushing. Okay, I was calling up these places. I was like, hey, um, you got an apartment for blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's called blah, blah, blah. We don't even check your credit. Say word. And I was out. And I was out. I was gone. And then look at me. I'm trying to leave now because it's bad here. I got a 2.6 rating where I live. I got to go. I got to go. So don't rush. Take your time. You know what I mean? Take your time. I know sometimes it's hard because you have to deal with your surroundings. And maybe you don't like it. But just think about it. I prefer for you to deal with that surroundings as of now. And then stay in a place very long term. Instead of doing it or doing what happened to me. You know, moving too quick. And then having to move again. And sometimes you don't have help. Because me personally, down in the South, I don't have help like that. You know, my parents, they live in a whole different state or whatever. So they would have to come down here, help me. I have to pay their flight back and forth. That's a lot of money. You know, so it's like, take your time. Don't rush. And then the last thing that I would say, once you get your apartment, hmm, once they tell you that they approved you, because here, if you do all these things, of course, they're going to approve you. You know, take your time, do your research and stuff like that. Of course, they're going to approve you. Work on your credit. They're going to approve you. Um, read your lease. Okay, read your lease. Because one thing about it over here, I was trying to break my lease early so I could leave, doing a rushing thing again that I'm not supposed to be doing. I was trying to do it, but I'm not going to do it no more. They told me I had to pay like two months ahead and I didn't know that. I didn't know that simply because I didn't read my lease. So take your time to read your lease. Just don't go signing papers and, and signing stuff like that. Because you don't even know. The, the little fine print could be like, we're going to kill you tomorrow. And look, you signed it. Looking dumb. Look, look at retarded. Looking dumb. So, yeah, y'all. 
that's pretty much all I have for now. I want to make another video on how I was able to remove some of my derogatory, um, derogatory things for my credit and it actually worked. So I will make sure I do a video like that for y'all so y'all can watch. But yeah, y'all, like I said, make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is it for this video. Subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to put y'all on. I really don't like when other people make videos and stuff like that. And then they be like, yeah, um, subscribe to my channel or something like that. You can subscribe to my channel, to their channel. It don't matter. But then they be like, oh, yeah, there's a link in the description below. Purchase my, my package. What do you mean? Like, like why do I got to purchase? Why? Why? Wow, I'm already broke. Like, get it together. So, yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.